Chaser. Just want to show you a new reel from Penn. This is the new international, the 80 VISW. Lovely reel. We've used it this year on tuna and swordfish and bits and pieces. And um, it's incredibly smooth to use, very nice and got some great features. So I want to run through those. It's got new anodising with a matte finish. You've got uh, things like an adjustable strike drag stopper here. So you can adjust where you want your uh, strike drag to be and you can um, play around with that depending on what you're fishing for and what sort of line class you're using. Also the, uh, the, the real uh, gear change, so you've got the old push button that we've always had into low speed but now there's a little button click there which makes it a lot, a lot easier to get back into high and works really well. So you push the button in, now you're in low speed. Thank you. Um, very important to have a two-speed reel when chasing things like swordfish we feel it comes in really handy handy especially early this year when we uh, we got an Australian record for our junior um, and having such a smooth easy to wind reel help with that as well um, inside the preset drag there's a, uh, a little um, a little pin to uh, prevent dial creep so there's a spring loaded pin in there it'll prevent the uh, the reel creeping out of where you've preset it which is a bit of a problem at times with um, with various reels but it's not going to be a problem with the new ADVISW. Um, very nice smooth uh, drag lever too I should add very easy to get into the various um, bits of the drag you want to be to set it exactly where you want it and a nice even and smooth um, a drag curve as well. The frame's also been cut out to reduce the weight on the reel, um, make it as light as possible while still being as strong as possible. Now on the interior there's some machined holes and some machined recesses to pull any water away that may happen to get into the reel during use, um, which is obviously going to be handy to protect the, the longevity of your reel. The, the screws that have been used in here, the plate screws, have got um, got a plastic sleeve on them to prevent metal to metal contact, to protect your anodising and also to stop any water uh, wicking down those threads and into your reel so it's another added protection um, and, and a very good thing to have. All the screws and in fact all the parts of the reel were all factory greased and greased well so um, some reels we've had in the past either weren't greased well enough or in many places weren't, weren't greased at all which um, which uh, is, is unfortunate. They should be ready to use out of the box, but we found that not all are. But these ones, these ones certainly are. The real seat itself is um, is screwed in. Instead of using rivets, makes it easier to uh, to to get into. If you want to check for any corrosion or give it a clean out, regrease it, um, do a bit of maintenance. So certainly screws. Uh, an advantage there over your traditional rivets. There's also a plastic gasket in there again to prevent metal to metal contact. Now the exciting thing about this reel that really gives it its strength and its nice smoothness is the um, is, the in, is right in the middle of the reel. So you've got a huge uh, stainless steel, half an inch stainless steel shaft in the middle of the reel. It could handle 40 kilos of drag if you wanted to fish that sort of pressure. The end plate bearings and uh, and, the, um, and, the, and on the stainless steel shaft are all the same size, large bearings, well greased and well packed, ready to go, um, and really nice large bearings to give that smoothness and give that, um, that strength and, uh, and reliability in these reels. A key component of the reel that really gives it this added smoothness, on the actual crankshaft it's supported by two uh, large bearings as well, again fully greased and packed and, and ready to go. The drag cam housing sleeve in the crank end plate is removable, so if you do get any wear and tear or doing your maintenance again, you've only got to replace one little part instead of pulling the whole lot out there. So, um, so overall, look, a great reel, really nice and smooth and easy to use, and as you can see, we've, we've caught some swordfish and, and tuna and bits and pieces. Let him go, sorty again. Let him go. A, uh, a test on the P new Penn International 80 VISW. How's it feel, Oscar? You've just hooked a swordfish, we reckon, and um, how's that pen going, mate? Good. Yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah. It is a lovely smooth reel. The typical uh, standoff behaviour with these swords. It's done some incredible head shakes and bill shakes. Carry on. We're just working a bit by bit, taking our time, knowing it's uh, more than likely well hooked. Here he comes. Oh! Oh, yeah! He's a nice fish, he's about a hundred... So there it is folks, your Penn International VISW, definitely one to keep into consideration. Thanks for watching.